Make sure you are able to recognize the beginnings of a fire, regardless of the fire safety systems put in place. Use your senses of sight, smell, and touch to identify the signs and know your evacuation procedures for a safe exit. Crawl low under any smoke to your exit. Heavy smoke and poisonous gases collect first along the ceiling. Before opening a door, feel the doorknob and door. If either is hot, leave the door closed and use your second way out. If you can't get out, close the door and cover vents and cracks around doors with cloth or tape to keep smoke out. If you're stuck inside, call 911. In case of a fire, most elevators are out of service, so don't run to the elevators. Go to the stairs. The number one cause of death related to fires is smoke inhalation. An estimated 50 to 80% of fire deaths are the result of smoke inhalation injuries rather than burns. Carbon monoxide prohibits oxygen absorption into your body and carbon dioxide out of your body. You'll most likely pass out before you die of smoke inhalation. It could take 5 to 10 minutes to lose consciousness and up to 15 minutes for the smoke inhalation to kill you. To extinguish a fire, we utilize the acronym PASS. P stands for pull and refers to the locking pin on the handle. The pin is used to prevent the fire extinguisher from being discharged accidentally. In order for the lever to work, the pin must be removed. A stands for aim. If the fire extinguisher discharges from the end of a hose, point the hose at the base of the fire. If your extinguisher discharges from a nozzle at the top of the canister, point it directly at the base of the fire. The first S in PASS stands for squeeze. Once your extinguisher is properly aimed, pull the lever upward toward your palm standing about 6 to 8 feet away from the fire. Sweep the nozzle side to side toward the base of the fire to make sure all potential hotspots are saturated. Don't hesitate to use the extinguisher until it is empty. The charge depletes very quickly, so you must exercise control with your spray and try to evenly extinguish the flames.